sunset. Meanwhile, there are new developments in the Free Hawaii Movement. Eric Tsai, the leader of the Hawaiian Liberation Organization, has disappeared three days after storming out of negotiations with Hawaii Governor Makena. There is fear the militant organization may resort to terrorist acts to make a statement. In New Orleans, security forces are at full alert as the city prepares for the Future Sport World Championship game. sign Support. Target two is in position. What about target one? No sign. Mm. Damn athletes are never on time for anything. Cool head, babe. Cool head. The Pharaoh will be here. We just have to wait for him to make his royal entrance. Him and Torres in one shot. The traitor and the snoop. It's a glorious day for the revolution, huh? Sponsors happy. Your sponsors? They have nothing to worry about. Besides, after this game, your popularity index will be even higher than mine. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible, that anybody's PI index could be higher than yours. What is it now, Bob? 390? 401. Not that you're keeping track or anything. Who's doing the interview? It's her, isn't it? Alex Torres interviewing Tremaine Ramsey on the championship pregame. That's got to be worth 15 points at least. The network pulled her back here to cover the game. It's been 10 years since that first piece she did on Future Sport, and they want to do a retrospective. Nostalgia sells, you know. As long as you aren't nostalgic about her. Alex and I were over a long time ago, sweetheart. Besides, just look at you. Now, who could compete with you? Nobody. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Here, turn. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hmm. For the Pharaoh has everything. <laughs> circus, isn't it? Yes, not like the good old days. Well, better get started. 
Rolling. Obike Fix. Take one. We're here with Obike Fix, the man credited with creating future sport. Yes, yes, yes. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I understand this is your first championship Sunday. Well, I never really showed much interest in the pro leagues. And the league never showed much interest in you? <laughs> they don't like me nagging him. You know, having a conscience can be expensive. So you still contend that the league doesn't give back to the community? Oh, yes, yes. It is my contention that the league makes billions of dollars off a of future sport. But without the kids in the down zone, they wouldn't make a dime. So uh, it behooves the league Alex, to start paying we're a rolling. more attention. It's the network. And put some... Trey's on his way down. I'll tell him we'll get back as soon as we finish with Fix. No, oh, no. It's all right. I understand. Trey's ratings. I'm just... Dudu. Ramsey has granted an exclusive pregame with Alex Torres. If you want your questions answered, you can watch Channel 90 along with everybody else. Thank you very much. Woo. Thank you, Coach. You're late. Oh, you're welcome, Trey. Anything for you, Trey, my good man. Thank you, Trey, but you're still late. And if you want to thank me, you can win the game. My contract's up for renewal. Right. Oh, it's oh, the cave fix. Now, I never thought I would ever see you at a pro game. Well, you have to blame it on Alex. It will be extremely persuasive. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, well, I'm off. Leave you two to your business. Easy. Hey, I'm having a uh, victory party tonight after the game. You should come. Yeah, win the game first, then the party. Bye. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I'm all yours. I'll try to contain my enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, over here. Take a roll, Alex. Always in charge. This good? Yeah. Rolling. Tremaine Ramsey. Take one. Ten years ago, Tremaine Farrell Ramsey became an overnight media sensation after Channel 90's report on an obscure game called Future Sport. Now he's captain of the LA Rush and here in New Orleans for his third consecutive World Future Sport Championship. Uh, Mr. Ramsey. Do Mr. Ramsey? You know, Alex, I know you were ticked off when I dumped you, but I mean, we have not really reached the Mr. Ramsey point, have we? Cut. Wait, from two things. One, I don't want to be here any more than you do, okay? <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd still be in Hawaii covering the secession. And two, you didn't dump me, I dumped you! <laughs> Despite what your autobiography says. So you read my book. Aren't you the popular couple? Come forward and face justice. How many? Ramsey! Show yourself! Nueve. Ramsey! Show yourself now! Everyone on your feet! On your feet now! 
You have 10 seconds to jump aboard! Round me! Get on. Aboard. Show yourself! Now! Now I can take him. If I had a ball. That's my girl. Coach? Kamikaze 38 float. If I pull this off, my PI rating is going through the roof. Don't blink. This is gonna be good. Ago, I did a special report on a man doing his best to survive a tragedy. Tremaine Ramsey, a former pro basketball rookie of the year, had watched the league collapse around him in the worst point shaving scandal in sports history. A few months later, the league dissolved and Ramsey started playing a new game. A game called Future Sport. Two teams, five players each, and only one way to score. Put the ball in the goal. One point for a throw, three for a slam. Let's watch. Sport is the most popular game on earth, and Tremaine Ramsey, its undisputed star. But the question is, has all the money, glory, and publicity made the game and the players better, or taken away everything that matters? Watch out for Jamison. The man's a killer. And keep your passes crisp. And remember, team first. That means you too, Trey. 
Team is what I'm all about, coach. Jed, I want you to cover Blake. Oh, hold on, coach. Wait a minute. Forget it. Becker's mine. Jed's gonna handle Blake. I want you to save yourself for offense. Don't worry, Z. I can handle him. <laughs> what you mean, fondle him? <laughs> hey! All right, let's beat on the Griffins. Not on each other. And let's get it done. Come on! Trey? I don't have time for any more interviews. You saw the story? Yeah, you think I sold out. Well, not only you, everybody. Future Sport used to mean something. Now it's just a show. Lost for people to stay glued to the vid walls. Now you're starting to sound like Fix. But... You know, the story that I did was supposed to be about him, how he invented the game to keep peace between the downs owner and gangs. You yeah, focused on me instead. Yeah, well, I went for the ratings, okay? Yeah, well, thank you. It made me a star. Seriously, would, would you have been happier if I'd have said no to the league, Alex? Said no to this, the money, the fame, the glory, everything? I wish I knew. I really wish I knew. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames and messieurs, it's time to play Future Sport. The world's greatest teams, the LA Rush and Berlin Griffins, go head to head in Championship 2025. All right, time now for the traditional team captains meet and greet, where each bids the other best wishes for a good game. Hey, Pharaoh, heard about your little run in with Hilo. I hope you saved enough for the game. More than enough to take you to school, Bean Cole. <laughs> well, who knows, Stubby? Maybe it's my turn to teach you a thing or two. Stubby. That, that's good. Did you think of that one yourself, Becker? That's right. Let's get it on, baby. Good mama. These two teams are really evenly matched. Both teams have stellar offenses. Both teams have brutal defenses. But most importantly, both teams have superstars playing flyer. For L.A., the game's top scorer and world's most popular athlete, Tremaine Ramsey. His nemesis, the young superstar out of Notre Dame, Blake Becker. Now, this could be Ramsey's last season. Now, young Becker would love nothing more than to take the Pharaoh's place at the top of the world's popularity index. So, it all comes down to this. The Pharaoh versus the young pretender in a battle for the crown. And listen to that. The crowd loves these two superstars. Now, here comes the race for protection. Position and under game rules has five seconds to pass the ball before it becomes electrified. If pass he does, the Griffin's veteran Carl Bunch who looks wide open. <laughs> Where's the rush defense on this? Wow. Oh, oh wow. Rush flyer Jekyll spells into his pad and intercepts. Oh, 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 baby, what a gutsy move for a new flyer. Looking for a pass and it goes to Ramsey now. <laughs> Up, and he takes a shot, and it's good. Yes, this is Jim Young's first season with the Rush. She hails from Singapore and the Pan Pacific Commonwealth. <laughs> Gonna be a long day, Rook. Brutal with the Griffins out front now. The Russians got to start using teamwork if they ever want to catch up before the half. All right, action continues. Jeff passes off the tray. What else is new there? And the Griffin defense speeds the stop. Trey takes a hit, but fires the ball. And there it is. Trey Ramsey scores his 500th point, putting him 17 points away from breaking his own scoring record. Bunch has the ball now, desperately looking for Becker, who can't get to him. Here comes the rush blocker. Hope he evades him. As the ball starts to spark, he's open but still away from the goal. Can he ride the lightning? No! Bunch gets sparked for a five-second hold. If he'd been able to keep a grip and ride the lightning, he might have gotten a slam there. Give me the ball! 
Ramsey's got possession, and he won't pass the ball. It. it seems like Trey's more interested in his own record than teamwork now. And he's up and scores! What the hell do you think you're doing out there? I told you to let Jet handle Becker. We're only down by nine, Coach. Yeah, well, we should be up by 20. Been a while since we saw the Pharaoh try to grip out a zap. But then Trey's games changed a lot in the past couple of years, and some would say not for the better. Second half play resuming now and promises the kind of shoot that we expect from superstars like Ramsey and Becker. Jack Jameson on his tail now. Jet Young will accept the pass and draw the heat. But Ramsey isn't passing, and here comes Cover. Oh, oh, oh. Jet Young coming, but I see Jameson putting Ramsey in the clear. Yes, Trey scores again. He's only a slam away from a new scoring record. Okay. Should have passed. I was open. Did I score? I scored. Ramsey's goal ties the score at 65 with seconds to go. The rush really coming on strong now. Here's the deciding play. Griffin's ball. Stolen by rush blocker Tom Mayhew. No wonder he's called Mayhem. He passes out to Ramsey on the whip. Jet Yun is in perfect position to accept the pass. Once again, Ramsey blows fire. What is this? He wants the winning points for himself. Here comes the Griffin defense. What a move! Ramsey's open. All he needs is one to win. The five-second clock expires. Trey is trying to ride the lightning. Oh! Turnover! Ramsey! No! The ball is scooped up far down to Wunsch! Oh. And here comes Wunsch! And he scores! Oh, the Griffins win! And what a major upset here today! my port stabilizer. Nice job. I had no speed. What? I had no speed and it's your damn fault. Your port stays purring. Then explain to me what the hell just happened out there. Oh, checked a mirror lately. Oh, nice job, Jet. You should talk. Yeah. Great game. I don't care what anybody says. We earned this win and here's the I proof. The trophy. Boy, boy. I'd like to dedicate this victory to the people of the Pan Pacific Commonwealth. And everyone at home in Australia! Any comment on the growing tensions between the COM and the North American Alliance? No worries. The way I see it, you yanks stop sticking your beaks where they don't belong and everything will be peachy. Otherwise, the COM's gonna frickin' do to you what I did to my That if he wants a piece of me, he freaking knows where to find me. They got an expression in Germany. Alice Glisten is nish necessarily gelt. I think that pretty much sums up what happened here today. Hey, Mom. We won. <laughs> no comment. Trey, I said no comment. And that ends our coverage for this evening. <laughs> no victory party. No dancing girls. Nothing. Didn't you see the game? Yeah, man, I saw it. Hurt my eyes. Well, I can tell you, Trey, if you was to play like that in the down zone, you might not have made it off the court alive. Yeah, well, I don't play in the down zones anymore. True. Maybe that's what the problem is. You know, sometimes, Trey, you can go up so high, you can't see the ground anymore. Maybe I should come back to the old neighborhood a bit. It might jog your memory as to what really matters and what doesn't.
but it's not that bad. Look, I'll get back to the championship again next season, all right? And then at that victory party, I'll announce our engagement. It'll be exactly like we planned just one season later. You don't have another season. If I marry you now, my PI rating will go into the sewer, and that is one place I do not intend to go. Lorelei has left the building. Down. <laughs> Team plane's about ready to leave for home. You want to talk about it? <laughs> Nothing to talk about. <laughs> Open. There's a late supper heating in the oven. Your personalized news clips are ready for viewing, and your post-game champagne is chilling in the refrigerator. We lost, Edgar. Slings and arrows, sir. Slings and arrows. You have my sympathy. I take it Ms. Lorelei won't be joining us. Lost her, too. We broke up. Ms. Anarchy anticipated that possibility when she upgraded my programming last month. Something to do with saving the gene pool. Were your romance to fail, I'm instructed to play the following recording. It's hard to believe just four little words could bring me so much pleasure, but here they are. I, I told you so. I will remove Miss Lorelei's name from the authorized oh, entry What a good idea. <sighs> Might as well play my messages. Cut. Give me somebody I know. Mr. Ramsey, all of us here at Armforce Sportswear want you to know how much we appreciated your efforts as our spokesman this past season. However, we also want to express... On second thought, Edgar, just... Give me a summary of the rest of the calls, please. You have seven additional messages. Three from your agent, one from your lawyer, two from your sponsors, and one call from Ms. Therese. Alex, play that one. Trey, I need to talk to you. It's really important. Tomorrow, game time, 39 points, 14 assists. My stats that you came down to do your documentary. That's great. I could never forget. Wanna walk? Yeah. The message, you said it was important. Yeah, it's the HLO. Losers, what about them? I wouldn't write them off so fast. When I was called back to the mainland, I was researching a report on the Hawaiian separatist movement, and Trey, the HLO is dangerous. I mean, even people inside the movement are afraid of them. Strictly small-time Bacchus. Well, maybe a few years back, but uh, 
Things are changing. They got money, and a lot of it. Let's take it. Wait. Let's see how much she moves. They're building up a something. Something big. And that attack on us was their first move. To show people they mean business. Huh. I know that look. What look? That look. What? That right there. You're planning on going up against them. Well, I need your help. See, the network doesn't want to run my piece. They say it's too political and politics doesn't sell airtime. Yeah, but I do. Well, you're the one of the most prominent Hawaiians in the country. Alex, I'm a quarter Hawaiian. A quarter. Yeah. The only time that I ever go to the islands is for the All-Star game. That's it. Yeah, but you stood up to them twice. Remember you called them a bunch of punks on the air? Huh? Yeah? Yeah. And when they tried to get you back, you made them look like idiots. Look, if you agree to speak out against them, I give my air time, and we can force people to pay attention, OK? And, and maybe uh, help prevent whatever Hilo's planning and, and save a lot of people's lives. That's enough. Let's take them. You know, I've missed this. Miss what? I miss the energy, the causes, the pursuit of truth, justice, and North American way. So you'll do it? to heaven and all the angels look like Alex. Must be the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you. I suppose that grenade was Hilo's version of viewer feedback, huh? Everyone's a media critic, huh? Mm. So, when do we do our story? We don't. The HLO beat us to the punch. They just launched a whole new bomb campaign, mostly on the islands. Military bases, government buildings, the works. I'm not exactly spreading sunshine, am I? No, good news never really was your specialty. Well, I promise the next time we get together, I won't be so depressing. Oh. Is it gonna be a next time? I guess that's up to you. Alex, thanks for stopping by. session here half an hour one print one graph per person i want you to find fix i don't know what i'm talking about, all right good let's get it you guys play your cards right you can get some autographs too it's a joke all right all right we'll go outside now all right if i catch you selling this thing on the net i'm personally gonna hunt you down and kick your butt all right get authorized Authorized. It's a train. Why is it? I got biz. That means everyone. Yes, man. Scatter. Walk, man.
wanted to thank you for helping me and Alex out the other night. I owe you. Yeah, man. But I couldn't let you get killed in my neighborhood. Couldn't make me look bad, man. I seem to do that a lot, don't I? Yeah. Make you look bad. I can't help but wonder. If you've been the one in Alex's special, maybe you'd be the star instead of me. <laughs> maybe. If I would have wanted it. But see, that's not what Future Spot was supposed to be about. So, what I man can do for you? I got a little problem with Hilo. What? I got a little problem with Hilo. I need your help. See, I'm cool. I got league security watching my back, so I'm covered. But Alex? She got nobody. Yeah. So I was hoping maybe you can keep an eye on her for me. You know, hire some Ronin if you had to. I'll supply the ones and zeros, man, whatever it takes. No, no, no. What, what makes you think I got that kind of pool, man? This is down zone. Everybody knows you're the man. True. All right. Let me see what I can do. The deal is you have to come back around more often. Deal. Move into that too. Thanks. How's it? No, oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Our sponsors were very generous. Kiai 10 million euros to cover our LA operations and that, my love, is all untraceable. You know something? Listen, Holly, I don't know who you think you are, but, uh... I know exactly who I am, and you should, too. You see, this here is my neighborhood you're playing in. I don't like uninvited guests. Let me guess. Okay, fix. I was hoping to get a chance to talk to you. Well, you better talk quick. <sighs> Governor McKenna was the latest victim of violence in Honolulu when his motorcade was ambushed on his way to negotiations with HLO leaders. Meanwhile, Hawaiian separatists, defying the recent results of popular elections, have issued a declaration of independence. Mr. Ramsey, you have a visitor. Let her in, please, Edgar. Hey. Hey. Welcome. I assume I have you to thank for the down zoners that have been shadowing me for the past two days? What, someone's been shadowing you? Mm-hmm. I'll just... I don't need babysitting, Trey. You know, that's the exact same thing I said to the League when they sent me my bodyguards. And you know what they told me? What? They said, you're too valuable to risk. Well, that's sweet of them. Mm-hmm. What are you making? Spicy faro rolls. Spicy faro rolls? What is that? It's a secret for me to know and for you to find out. I don't know. Are you afraid? Alex Torres, fearless reporter, is afraid? Bring it on. Okay. That is what I'm talking about. Hmm. Hmm? Mm. Not bad. I've been watching your reports. It's scary stuff. It's gonna get worse. According to my sources, comms crime Pan Pacific Brotherhood, they're sending a fleet to Hawaii. And in response, the North American Alliance has their entire military on alert. I mean, there could be a war. I thought the UN was negotiating. The UN can't negotiate a real estate deal. They got no teeth. 
I have no PI rating. Something going on behind those green eyes. And if we go to war, people are gonna die. No Hawaiians, North Americanos, comms. Most of the casualties won't even register on the PI meter. Yeah, there'll be downs on us. Mm-hmm. People too poor to dodge the draft or bribe their way off the front line. And people like those kids playing future sport out in the streets. If I wanted to hold a press conference, could you get me worldwide coverage? Even if I didn't tell anybody what it was about? Well, you are the pharaoh. Even though your PI ratings have slipped, you've still got the president beat by 10 points. What do you have in mind? A publicity stunt. The biggest, stupidest publicity stunt in history. I suppose most of you are expecting a retirement announcement. Well, I hate to disappoint, but I'm not ready to give up the game. At least not today. I do know that I can't play forever. And when I've gone, I'd like to be able to say that I made a difference. When we played future sport back in the down zones, we used it as a substitute for gang warfare. A way for us to settle scores without having to throw down. Now I've been thinking, if that worked in the zones, and it did, why couldn't that work in the world? Right now, the Calm and North America are squaring off for one of the biggest turf battles in decades. No rules, no holds barred, winner take all. And if that happens, a lot of people are going to die. Well, I say, if we're going to act like down zoners, why not go all the way? So on behalf of my gang, the North American Alliance, I challenge the comp to a game of future sport. Our team against yours. The winner gets respect, bragging rights, and the Hawaiian Islands to boot. Now, I know what you're probably saying. The Pharaoh has lost his mind. He's gone completely loco. Well, maybe I have, but look at it this way. Which would you rather have? One high stakes game of future sport or a war? The ball's in your court. Thank you. I can't believe those Harveys in Honolulu agreed to this. Staking everything on some tomato game? That's Rufin. They didn't have much choice, Kiahi. Our common advisors made it very clear that giving us money and weapons is one thing, but nobody's ready to go to war. There wasn't going to be a war. The mainland would have backed. You said so. And I was right. They did back down. They agreed to play Ramsey's idiotic game, and now we can win our independence without even firing a shot. And there isn't a damn thing any of those loyalist howlies in Honolulu can do about it. But what if things don't go our way? What if the calm loses? That would be unfortunate. So, we just have to make sure the calm wins. Isn't that right, Mr. Fix? Like Trey said, winner takes all. We've been drafted. Yeah, I got the email. I know what you're all thinking. This is some kind of a giant scam to raise my PI ratings. Mm-hmm. Well, you're wrong. This is real. I'm trying to stop a war. And I need your help. All of you. 
Not me. This is vintage grade A feral. You don't believe me, Mayhem? That's fine. I don't care. If it helps, you guys can look at it this way. We win this game, you're all heroes. Heroes. That means you can write your own ticket. Personal appearances, TV contracts, whatever. Hell, maybe they'll even name a perfume after Willard here. <laughs> there he is. Cash and PI ratings. Tremaine Ramsey I've grown to know and love. Think whatever you want, Becker. All of you. Just as long as you play. What about the rest of you? Anybody leaving? Well then. Let's get to work. We should have mounted this thing with a bomb. Then the NAA would be out of a team. Well, if you want my help, you have to do this my way. No bombs, nobody get hurt. You getting a conscience, brother? Well, if I didn't have a conscience, sister, then I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> and here I thought you were doing it for the money. Money for his people, Kiahi. Mr. Fix is a philanthropist. Yeah, five million euros can go a long way in a down zone. And as long as they don't have to die in a war, my people don't give a ding-dong diddly about what flag fly over Hawaii. Man after my own heart. So, what's our next move? All right, all right, OK, let's try from the top. No, no! That's it! Becker, you should have passed the ball to Ramsey. Oh, yeah, that's great. You know, whenever I'm in a key situation in a game, I ask myself, what would two do right now? And somehow, Coach, I don't think he would have passed it to me. He's in your little slap. He's right. I wouldn't have passed it to him. <laughs> Stairs. 50 sets. Both of you. Now. He's serious. Come on. What's the matter, old man? You running out of gas? Nope. I do have this sudden pain in my butt. Is that hemorrhoids? Yeah. I named him Blake Becker. Ready to go again? Yeah. Hey, stand that. <laughs> All right, that's it. You can stop. How many is that, 30? You losing count? Get senile in your old age. Hey, you two! You should listen to him. Why well, start now? First one to the top. I don't know, coach. Looks like love to me. <laughs> yeah! Winner and still champion! You gotta be kidding me, man. I just smoked you. Don't make me show you good muscle. Oh, why not? Because I can barely stand. Muscles walk. Man, that was the most idiotic display of macho bushido I have ever seen. Anarchy. With estrogen-challenged Bacchus like you running this planet, it's no wonder things are such a mess. Down with the patriarchy. Power to the goddess. I was going to ask if you needed an equipment manager, but now I'm not so sure. Well, uh, please, Anarchy, wait. Stay. Use all the help we can get. Yeah, I noticed. I'm sorry about what I said after the game. I didn't have anybody else to blame. But I'm sorry. Forget it, Trey. You want forgiveness? You're gonna have to do a lot more than apologize. But it's a start. Okay. Okay. Anarchy is back in the house! It's on our Becker's pen! Winner and still champion! Just got the rosters for the comm team. Here they are. Starting with Hatchet Jack Jamiston. 
Jet you win. Jet's gonna play for them? Last time I checked, Singapore was part of the calm. And so is Okinawa, which means Otomo Akira. And rounding out the starters, Sebastian Krajensky and Kiwi Madigan. Oh, man, not down under. <laughs> She's a full-on psycho. It's a good company for you. Five starters, five all-stars. Fantastic. All right, so we got a game. Listen up. Stars don't win games. Teams win games. I'm not worried about winning. I'm worried about staying alive. Oh, shut up. happy as I feel. This whole thing's buck, you ask me. My brother lives in Honolulu. Those Hilo Ahos almost killed him when they blew up the state capital. So why are you here? Same reason as you. Pan-Pacific unity and all that garbage. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for volunteering. It gratifies me deeply to see your love of sport, your dedication to the Commonwealth, and your sympathy for our oppressed brothers and sisters in Hawaii. My name is Neville Hodgkins. I'm to be your team's government liaison officer. Internal security? What do you think? So, if there's anything you need, anything at all, please don't hesitate to come to me immediately. I know you're going to make the people back home very proud of you. Or else. Still bothering you? Nope. Feels great. How you doing, Coach? I'm fine. Still like to have the doc take a look at that. Hey, if you get hurt, the league would have my hide. Whatever you say, Coach. Tremaine, this is a uh, noble thing that you're doing. Ooh. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. <laughs> hey. So you're actually going to do this? Huh. I thought you'd be proud. Using future sport to stop a fight? Wasn't that the whole idea? You remember the last game you played before your turn pro? Yeah, against uh, Playa NWC. Yeah, fight for the right to Sartell Park. You know, I never actually kept track of what those games were for. I just played. You remember what them did to Carlos before the game? Yeah, I wish I didn't. Listen here, Trey. This game with the calm, this is not an exhibition game or a pro game. This here is a straight up Territorial fight. Street rules, Trey. Before the game, during the game, after the game. What are you saying? You think the comms gonna mess with us? I'm telling you, they're a lot tougher and nastier than the NWC. Don't know if I can protect you, man. It's a little late for me to back out now. Is that right? Yeah. You know, I never supported you becoming pro. I thought you was a sellout. You said, no, 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 man, have a right. You know, the society we live in, money is respect. And you deserve respect. Yeah, absolutely. Well, newsflash. Dead man can't earn dada. Welcome back, Mr. Ramsey. How'd you get inside? 
I ask politely. Please, sir, feel free to melt my circuits if I erred in allowing Miss Therese to enter. You have my sincerest apology. Shall I call security? No. No. Absolutely not. It's, it's quite all right. You like a drink? I would love one. In my own house. <laughs> My favorite. You remember? Mm-hmm. How'd it go? Mm. Could have been better. But at least we've got a team. Now if the NAA and the Com will just keep their side of the bargain, we can have something. Uh, I, th I think you change, you know that? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. I, you just remind me of someone. Who is that? Uh, this amazing guy. Um, smart, handsome. He wore his heart on his sleeve. Um, he's an ex-speedball player. Started playing future sport in the streets. Went pro about 10 years ago? Sold a soul for fame and fortune. Mm. Oh, you know. He and I were close once. Mm. But I have lost touch with him. Mm. <sighs> I think it's never too late. Make up with an old friend. You sure you know you do? better than I've felt in a long time. Here. I have something for you. Me? Uh -huh. I wanted to give this to you before we broke up. Before you left me. But I never really had the opportunity. So now, if I have the chance, I'm going to give it to you. Shut. Not even sure what's inside. Your mom always said that it was a family secret. It's your mom's? Mm hmm. And her mom's before her. But, oh, Trey, I can't take this. Oh, please. I really want you to have it. Just promise me that you'll keep it on until the game is over. Just for luck. Since when are you so superstitious? I'm an athlete. Goes with the territory. Sir, sorry to interrupt, but you have an incoming message. Not now, Edgar. I'm about to get very busy. 
It's marked extremely urgent, sir. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to reprogram my house. <laughs> okay. Put it through. Pharaoh. I heard your doctor suggested back surgery. Who the hell are you? Just a friend. With a little friendly advice, go in for the surgery. Don't play in the game against the calm. Or that back will be the least of your worries. I'm sorry, but is that the Cape Town Sables I hear calling to confirm <laughs> their original offer? From the Cape? Oh, yeah. Hey, anybody seen Coach? No, I must be running late. Coach is never late. Building security said they let him in about an hour ago. Looks like he's meditating. Coach! <laughs> hey, hey Coach. Buddha! Coach. Coach. That just scared us for a second there. <laughs> I fell asleep while I was meditating. <laughs> Come on. Coach. Coach, we're all here. Authorize a hit on Douglas. I do. You got a problem with that? Hell yeah. I only agreed to help to keep people from getting hurt. That's what you're doing. Douglas is dead. So? Well, that's one man. I, if there was a war, millions would die, and most of those would be down zone cannon fodder. So you want to stop that, you help us. I make a promise. I keep it. That's what I'd like to hear. Sorry to keep everybody waiting. Where's uh, Willard? Gone. He said it wasn't worth the risk. He was right. So, any volunteers? I talked to every single coach in the league. No one is interested in taking over for Douglas. What's the matter? Afraid it might be bad for their health? That and the fact that the salary sucks. But I did find one person stupid enough to take the job. Me. <laughs> you. I've been playing future sport for 10 years. I know every single trick in the book. And this game is way too important to just give up. Oh, spare us the nobility act, Ramsey. I mean, how much do you think this is going to boost your PI rating? 10 points? 20 points? How about zip? I fired my PR firm this morning, so sit down, Mayhem. Sit down. Take a look at this. I've drawn up some new offensive sets. Incorporated a few new plays. Let me know what you think. These are all key to Becker. You want me to score? Did you experience any sharp blows to the head recently? If I'm calling all the shots, everybody's gonna expect me to hog all the glory. I mean, it makes perfect sense. So I'm going to set a brand new future sport record in assists, provided, of course, you can put the ball in the goal. <laughs> Watch me. And one more thing. I want you guys to meet our new defensive coordinator. Oh, great, Mr. Amateur Hour. He invented the game, Aho. Show some respect. But, uh, maybe this was a mistake, Trey. Yeah, it might have been a mistake. And Becker, you're the one who's making it, man. These are street rules that we're playing here, street rules. I'm sure they didn't teach you those at Notre Dame. OK, fine. So who are these guys? Our new cheerleaders? These are your bodyguards. They're going to watch your backs until game time. I, I, I don't like you. <laughs> All right, let's get to work.
Didn't expect to see you here. But that makes two of us. It means a lot to Trey. You helping him out. <laughs> Ma. Ah, hell. Sometimes I think he actually might be doing a good thing. Maybe it's ten years late, but I, I feel like I owe you an apology. I know when you invited me to the down zone, all you wanted was a story about street gangs settling their differences peacefully and instead you got this I'm responsible as anyone for that what did you plan it no I went along for the ride and you got hurt I'm sorry no problem water under the bridge Game time in five hours. And no matter what your politics, one thing's for sure, this is shaping up to be one of the greatest sporting events in history. Tell me again what a great idea this is. But tell me slow. You're doing a good thing, Trey. Win or lose, at least you're giving it your best shot. Yeah, yeah. It's how you play the game, I know. So what are you going to get here and cheer me on, huh? Well, the game doesn't start for another five hours. You shouldn't even be there yet. Yeah, when I was a player, I never showed up to the arena until the last second. But now that I'm coaching... Security alert. Security, Security alert. Alex, what's going on over there? I don't know. What? What? No! Ed, you're giving me a wide-angle view. Hello, oh, Ramsey. I'm gonna make this quick. How do you lose the game or your lady friend dies? Okay. You guys, Alex has been kidnapped by the Hilo guys. What about Darastama? Wasn't he supposed to be looking out for her? He's missing too. So what do we do? <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. Mayhem's right. It's not your problem, it's mine. I'll take care of it. Hey. I found her. Good. Or at least the tracker you put in her locket. Good, good, good. You put a trace on Alex? Paranoia is your friend. Damn right. Megatech. What the hell are they doing there? Man, we should call the blue shirts. No way. Chief Croner and his stormtroopers come blasting in there. They'll kill Alex in the crossfire. Forget it. Where are you going? To get her out of this. I'm coming with you. No, Anarchy, that's ridiculous. It's too risky. Damn hot dog, huh? What? This is exactly what you did in the championship. You tried to win the whole thing by yourself. What, did you forget you were part of a team? <laughs> She's coming along, and so am I. Me too. Yeah, me too. Say, man. Try thank you. Thank you. You coming? Not me. Mama Mayhew didn't raise no fools. Whatever. Hey, you're not back by game time. I'm keeping your endorsement money for myself. in the division. Just barely. Yeah. All right. Here. You two guys watch the deck. Everybody else with me. All right, now where? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Might as well go this way. Hey, guys. 
guys. Maybe we should split up. What are you doing here? Muro, don't you get it? It's like in those old flat screen movies, the cavalry coming to the rescue. No, that's not it, is it? No. How long? A couple of weeks. Why, man? You know how much money the league donate to the Down Zone charities every year? 1,000K. 1,000K? The helo dropped ten times that in a week. The money can do a lot of good, man. Then why are you helping us on this? Because I don't like them and I'm keeping their money. I don't trust you. Shh. I do. One hour till game time now, and the North American locker room remains shut tight. Whatever the Pharaoh's telling his troops, he doesn't want us to be part of it. Probably better be telling them to lose. At least for your sake. It's a scythe. Just so your man trade. Bring her. Hey! Suffer for it, Alex. Alex. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Not too shabby, huh? 
Move. Where's Trey? Come here. Come here. Aren't we just a happy little family? <laughs> I told you you should have had that back surgery, Trey. Saving me. Come here. Yes. Get it, man. All right, that's enough. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm really sorry to have to break up this beautiful moment. But uh, don't you have a game to play? gotten word the North American locker room is empty. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but if they don't show up soon, we're going to have a forfeit on our hands. Looks like your friends did their job. Amateurs, but useful. We hear the North American team has finally arrived. The details are sketchy, but police say those responsible for detaining the team are in custody. Oh, and here they come. Oh, the game will go on. Damn. You know, it's hard to believe this game will actually replace war. And it's also hard to believe that Ramsey and Becker are playing on the same team. Of course, there's concern that with Jamison and Yun playing for the comm, war might break out right here. Let's play future sports! There's the battle cry from Ramsey. Don't expect either of these teams to take this game lightly. Destroy them. Shoulder, man. Well, North America has taken the hit. Playing super aggressive ball now. Mayhew literally sweeping a path to the goal for Becker. Look at him go. Oh! Mayhew's down. So Becker's in the clear and puts it home. You all right? What was that? You just let Blake score. We keep playing like that. We seem they're going to be out of plans. Then I'm trying school. Watch yourself. Keeper's got his eye on you. Still down. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this game has a whole new set of rules. Oh, it's broken. Medic! Park, you're in. Shaking off interference, taking the pass from time to time. Hands it off to Becker. Becker's up his arms. A Ramsey assist. Ha, now that's a new one. Jen Yen's open. She puts it home. Jen Yen. Krajewski clocks Ramsey for no apparent reason. Now, how much more use can the Pharaoh take? Looks like they're running out of players. Fix? I haven't done this in a long time. It's been long. Ladies and gentlemen, a new substitution for the North American team. Oh, Hobie K. Fix, the man credited with inventing future sport, now takes the field on defense. Aren't you getting a little low for this? Yeah. Well, I'll just show him how we used to do it in the old days. Deal. Ball is up now. Almost <laughs> tripped up by OBK Fix, and he's not happy about it. <laughs> Street rules. I invented them. Oh, wow, what a hit. A brutal shot on Jamison by OBK Fix. That has to be one of the most blatant fouls I've seen in 10 years of covering this game. Shame about your boyfriend. Yeah, tragic. Ever thought of going pro? <laughs> wow. Hey, tell Madigan from now on we play a clean game. I wouldn't have it any other way. Very fast, a man on a mission. Look at his eyes. Oh, he's boxed in for the common, unable to pass. What's he going to do? Oh, 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 oh my damn this! Only the Pharaoh makes moves like that. Great block by Fix. He came out of nowhere. His five seconds are up. Now the ball's giving him abuse. Can he hang on? Oh my, what a play. Tremaine Ramsey rides the lightning to tie the score. Now that was Vintage Pharaoh. How much time left on the clock? 20 seconds. Good. Because I can't take much more. In just seconds, we'll know Hawaii's fate. Now, Yun's got possession, and she's driving hard. Rose looks good. Oh, Ramsey intercepted, and he's got airborne. Oh, baby. Ramsey's running right into trouble. Does he have any more moves left? Express the grave disappointment of your daughter. Save it. I played your game. I'm out of here. You played. You lost! No. You lost! After all, I'm a hero of the people. PI rating 205. You are nobody. Perfect scapegoat. Enjoy your trip home.
Thank you, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have been in a situation in the first place. No, no. Judgment call. Judgment call. Listen, training camp starts real soon. The L.A. Rush needs a coach. Ah, no way, man. Not my thing. No, no. Besides, I think the Rush, they have someone who's a dinghy of a coach. Everything I know, I'll learn it from you. True. Yo, Z! President Clinton's on the line. Tell Chelsea I'll call right back. Okay. So how'd I do? Okay. Not bad for a jock. <laughs> Trey. Uh -oh. What does she want? I'll handle it. Mm -hmm. I will handle it. Uh -huh. Come to see the game? I came to see you. And I wasn't disappointed. No? No. Well, Fix and Blake, those guys were the real heroes. I know. You handle things right within 24 hours. Nobody will be thinking about them. All they'll care about is you. Is that how you play it, Trey? Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry I threw off the handle at you earlier. I'm sure we can work this out. Why do I get the feeling that we wouldn't be having this conversation if I lost? <laughs> you can't blame me for liking winners. Besides, we could still be Flash together. Yeah. We could be Flash. But that's not my style anymore. I've moved on to real. Tremaine Ramsey has left the building. Nice little change of pace. Yeah, well, I'm growing up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blessed Off Classic between the L.A. Rush and the Algiers Scirocco. With Trey Ramsey stepping into the position as player coach, the Rush are poised on the brink of a new era. But what awaits them? Disappointment or glory? We'll soon see, because ladies and gentlemen, mesdames and messieurs, it's time to play Future Sport.